so I'm doing this video on a whim and it's a different type of video but I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how I package stuff since I already have stuff that I need to package anyway and I guess with new collectors every day like it doesn't hurt to make one of these videos and so basically like everyone obviously has their own way of packaging stuff I'm not going to tell you that this is like the right way the only way to do it but yeah I'm just going to be giving you guys tips on how to keep things protected and stuff like that for anyone who is just curious or doesn't know so I'm gonna get right into it and I won't lie usually stuff isn't this organized but I thought I would go ahead and lay everything out so that I can show you guys what I typically have when I package stuff today I'm going to be sending out this card I've just had this like rotting in my binder and I have three of them for some reason I don't know why I have three but obviously for this you need a top loader and a sleeve and I just basically get these off of Amazon you can get them for super cheap like a hundred for um, I'm not really sure but it's not a crazy price I will go ahead and link that in the description if you're curious and so I just put the card in here okay which side is the top this is the top okay so then I put the card in some people will put the car like the sleeve in upside down so that like the card doesn't come out I personally to prevent the card from coming out I will actually tape the top so I take my washi tape here which um, you can get from anywhere people say this washi tape sucks but this is just like my personal washi tape that I use and then I tape the top. This might even be too short for it, but as long as it keeps the card in, we'll be good to go. So that is perfect. And I actually had like these thank you cards made. Obviously, you don't need to do this. You don't need to have your own personal cards made. It probably would be a lot cheaper if you just got a like, set from the store. I'm pretty sure like Dollar Tree has them or something. Or you can not send with the card and just send it in an envelope, which is what I used to do. When I used to do that, I used to tape the card to the inside of the envelope so that in case the envelope rips or anything, that the card doesn't fall out. But I really wanted to up my packaging game and that's why I had cards made because if I, I just figured like if I was gonna spend money on cards I might as well get personalized ones and so I got these printed on Vista print for anyone who asks um, I get questions about that all the time and honestly they always have deals going on so you don't really have to pay an arm and a leg since they're custom they're gonna be more expensive than the ones you can just get at the store but yeah like Whatever, this is just what I choose to do. So then um, I have like a place in here where I put the card and then I will use this tape to tape it down to the card. And just like that. So then from here, typically I will just go ahead and write a note. And I absolutely hate my handwriting. And I feel like I also haven't written anything in forever. guys have watched my unboxing videos I got sick and tired of receiving freebies from people and not having anything to give them back so I actually had freebies made which is actually a lot cheaper than buying freebies to give out like pre-made ones if that makes sense um, so I got like this peekaboo card I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera but I'm too lazy to zoom in but I'm gonna go ahead and give her that as well as a Che Bomb sticker which you know all about that <laughs> branding and I'm actually running out of these so I ordered new ones so I'm gonna go ahead and give her those and it's actually a really long process to like make your own freebies but if anyone is curious I just use Taobao for them and I use Ali Wang Wang to contact the seller myself and send them my designs get dimensions and how much space they need for margins and stuff like that and then I will actually use super buy which is a proxy to have them pay for the transaction Action, and then they'll get it sent to the warehouse and send it to me and it's just like a whole process but yeah 
So that is it for the card. And then I will put it in. And typically, um, at this point, I would just stamp it and mail it out. Um, like write the address like to and from or from and to sorry but actually this is like an ebay purchase and this card is more expensive so i'm actually going to be sending it out with tracking and insurance so if you guys are sending out like really expensive stuff i personally recommend sending it with tracking just so that in case it gets lost you don't get blamed for it getting lost. So yeah, I just tend to send anything over $50 with tracking. And I also add insurance as well, just in case it does get lost. Then the, like, it's, insurance is only like a dollar or two more, which I personally think is worth it so that the buyer doesn't really hold you accountable for the package getting lost so that if they do, they can file a claim and get their money back. And you just don't have to deal with that whole situation. So personally, for me, spending that extra one or two dollars is worth it. But this card is perfect packaged so I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side and I will end up doing all the labeling towards the end after I package everything but now I have to send out these fan club sets that I sold basically I was planning on keeping the other members but I decided that I would just go ahead and make my money back and sell the other members not because I hate the other members but because my wallet is just you know falling short a little and I needed something to sell so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and sell these um, I sold them in number sets and as you guys can tell these are bigger things they're not gonna fit in envelopes for me personally I'm going to be sending this in a bubble mailer which I just find like most convenient for me uh, I feel like another convenient thing would just be sending it in an envelope with cardboard and stuff like that but I'm gonna show you guys how I package this big ass thing because while you can get like a top loader for stuff this big I personally for some reason just refuse to invest in bigger top loaders so I go through this whole process which I'm about to show you so I I tend to keep this box of a bunch of cardboard that I get when people send me packages and I just end up recycling it. And there's also like smaller pieces of cardboard in here. I personally don't think any of this is gonna fit because the, um, see like I think this might fit this. It doesn't, but just so you know, they, they do make top loaders this big. Um, I don't think anything in here is big enough, so um, what I will have to do is I'll have to cut out my own piece of cardboard. I promise you, you have like you know, cardboard sitting around, like even if it's just a cereal box, you can layer it to make it stronger and stuff like that. Okay, so I literally just cut this big ass piece of cardboard from a box I had lying around, and it is like pretty much the perfect width so I'm just going to cut the height of it and what I do is that I will take a ruler make sure it's the same and make sure that actually that I have nothing under here because that would be bad then I will go ahead and cut and it is that easy and so now I have something that will perfectly fit and I'm gonna take Irene's thing out I'm gonna be packaging hers first in an ideal world, I would have like a piece of like a plastic sleeve to put this in, but I don't. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this piece of cardboard because it was like all these jagged edges and obviously you don't have to do that, but I am just picky about stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this too. There we go, the cardboard is nice and clean. Um, and then I also have to package up this card, so that's what I'm gonna do. Get my plastic sleeve over here, you guys can see it in like the top left corner, it's not in the frame. I will take a top loader. And then now I need to tape the top of this card. There is the card, and now, basically to like seal this all in, um, actually, I think I'm gonna cut it down a little more just because I wanna make sure it fits in the bubble mailer. Actually, that's a good thing. That's a good idea. I should probably check if this will even fit. Um, I might not with the bubble wrap, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down even more. 
And tip for cutting, I don't know if this matters to anyone, but always put your ruler on the inside so that when you cut, you only like can make mistakes going outwards, if that makes sense, like not towards the cardboard. Probably nobody gives a fuck, but that's like something that I learned in art school. So I'm gonna cut this again so it didn't go all the way through. Okay, so now it fits perfectly. And now I'm gonna take my bubble wrap, and thankfully this just so happens to fit perfectly. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take this, I know, I'm like making a huge mess with everything underneath. Um, I think that's good, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear it. And so now she is good to go. I'm gonna give one of my freebie cards as well as this sticker. I think I might just actually put it in this layer. We are going to use our tape and tape her down. And I'm gonna tape the top and bottom as well, just to prevent it from coming out. So that is how I packaged that. And then I will go ahead and just put it in the sleeve. I'm praying it fits because like, it kind of looks like it's not gonna fit. Oh my God, it fits perfectly. Good thing I trimmed it down. Oh my god, that fits nice and perfect. That never even happens to me. But so then I would go ahead and then cut out this tracking number and then stamp it on the front. Um, basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me do the rest of this to music, so.
So now I'm going to show you guys how I actually print my labels. So the easy thing with PayPal is that if the buyer pays with goods and services, most likely there will be a button over here that says print shipping label and when you click it, it will automatically take you to this page where it will already have their address filled out and you just have to choose what service you want to mail this out and stuff like that and you're good to go and all you have to do is print. But for people who don't actually pay with goods and services, actually, if you go to paypal.com slash ship now, this will save you a bunch of time because then you don't have to go into line at the post office and you don't have to actually get your tracking there. You can just print the label from home and drop it off. So whenever buyers don't pay with goods and services, which I have a feeling that I will be using this, I will go ahead and do this and then that way I can just drop off the package. The only thing is, is that you will have to know the weight of the package. I personally invested in a mail scale, which I got for really cheap at either Sam's Club or Costco, but basically it has saved my life because obviously you don't want to put the wrong weight and then it posts to be too little and then the buyer has to pay extra postage. So that would just be a big mess. So I go ahead and weighed my item which i won't show you guys because i think it's pretty explanatory but since this is just a letter um it only weighs one ounce and then i will go ahead and um get insurance so for insurance i will just put how much the card was worth on here so that if it does get lost worst case scenario the buyer can get reimbursed for it and so once it calculates wow that is like a really expensive letter um but again like the insurance is worth it for me personally and then i will click confirm and pay and then i can go ahead and print my label and actually, since this is going on a letter, I will actually have to scale it down so that it will fit. And then I can go ahead and print. And then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of my labels. And then I will show you guys how I basically finish up my packages. Okay, so now I've got all my labels printed and this is going to be a pain in the ass to edit because I'm going to have to blur everything. Basically, like I just cut this out with a X-Acto knife and then put it on the envelope, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I will go ahead and show you guys this process anyway. So this is the one that I scaled down and I'm going to go ahead and cut. Here is the label, and then I will put it on top of the envelope. I won't lie, I did a pretty sloppy job, but I'm gonna go ahead and seal the envelope. And I saved sealing the envelope for last, just in case I need to make any last minute changes. So, I licked it. And then now this envelope is good to go. I can just go ahead and drop this off in the box at the post office. Here is another tracking and this time it is a international package. And then I will go ahead and once I have the label on, take off the seal and I will seal it. Wow, I fucked it up, but then I will go ahead and go in with some more tape just in case, just to be safe, you know. And that is how I package big stuff.